Mario Kart Midnight 2 by Mayro has been released and I'm going to show you how to get it working on Wii, Wii U, and Dolphin. If you are playing this on console, you do need the physical copy of Mario Kart Wii. And if you are wanting to play this online on Dolphin, you do need to have your NAND dumped to your Dolphin emulator. This mod pack has the best custom tracks voted by the Mario Kart Wii community. And if you want more information on all of the features, check out Mayro's release video in the description. So starting off, there will be a link in the description for the download and it will take you to the wiki for this mod pack. Of course, there's tons of information on this page, including the game features, the actual trailer that Mayro made, but the important thing is the download. So on the right side, you have the option between a normal download or the download without custom music. And the download is the exact same for all three methods that we're gonna be setting up in this video. I'm gonna do the normal one, so I'm gonna click on it. It'll take us to this Google Drive page and just hit download. Download anyway, because it's a larger file. And then you can exit this page. You can go back to the wiki if you want. But now I'm gonna be showing you how to set it up on Wii or Wii U using Revolution. And afterwards, I'll be showing you how to set it up on Dolphin. So just take a look at the timestamps on the video timeline to skip ahead to the proper spot for you. So for those of us on the Wii or Wii U, there is an extra step. So I'll also have a Revolution link down below. It'll take you here and you can grab the Revolution zip file. And of course, if you already have Revolution on your SD card, then you don't have to download this one. But those two downloads are all we need, so let's minimize that and get it set up. So whether you're on the original Wii or the Wii U, this setup will be the same on the SD card. So starting off, let's open up the Revolution folder, and you will need an extraction software like WinRAR or 7-Zip, but there will be an apps folder here. It has Revolution, but we're just gonna grab the apps folder and drag it onto the root of your SD card. I already have it, but I'll just replace it. We can exit the zip and delete it. And now open up your Mario Kart Midnight 2 V1. If there is an update, it'll be the same process, so you got nothing to worry about. There will be these two folders. Highlight both of them and drag them onto the root of your SD card. This one will, of course, take a bit longer as it's a lot bigger. And it is done. Now we can exit the zip file and delete it off our computer. But if you are gonna set it up on Dolphin as well, just keep the same download because it is the same for that as well. But we are done with our downloads. So now on the root of your SD card, you'll have a Midnight 2.0 folder. And if you do wanna add your own My Stuff hack in there, uh, you can do so that way as well. But that is all you have to do for the setup on your SD card. I will meet you on the VWi. It's the same setup whether you're doing it from VWi or the original Wii. So I'll meet you over there. And at this point, you do need to have your Mario Kart Wii disc inserted into your console. But once you have that, let's load into the Homebrew channel and then find Revolution. And here you can scroll until you find Revolution. There it is. Load it up. So your mods will load. I do have various different Revolution mods, but the first thing we're going to do is make sure install is highlighted and we're going to install the channel to our menu. And that way we won't have to go through the homebrew channel anymore. So it's installed and I'll quickly go show you what that looks like. And here it is. So now you can load it directly from your menu. So let's do it. So now that we're loaded in, I do have multiple mods. So I'm going to scroll through and make sure each one of these is disabled. So if you have other mods, make sure they're all disabled. There is midnight 2.0. And what we're going to do is make sure pack is enabled. If you did put things in your My Stuff folder, you can enable that. But once you're ready, just press launch. And we'll load into the mod. And there it is. It even tells us the version created just like Retro Rewind, so it's pretty slick. And yes, this is online compatible. And you also have an option to change different settings in the mod as well. But now that we've fully set it up on Wii or Wii U, I hope those of you on console will have a great time playing this mod and don't forget to hit that like button if I helped you out today. Now I'm gonna show you how to set it up on Dolphin so I'll meet you back on my computer. So let's get it set up on Dolphin. Again, it is the exact same download. I actually have all of my emulation related files and folders on a hard drive, including my Dolphin mods, but you can extract this anywhere onto your computer for this to work. But let's open the Mario Kart Midnight 2. And at this point, pick where you are going to place them on your computer. I'm gonna go into my Dolphin Mods folder. As you can see, I already have Retro Rewind in there, but I'm gonna highlight Revolution and Midnight 2.0 and place them inside. It'll add the Midnight folder and combine the Revolution folder. And there we go. 
we can exit the zip file and now we can delete it from our computer we don't need it anymore and the important file that we're gonna need to know where it is is in the revolution folder and the XML for midnight 2.0 but once you have them somewhere on your computer we can go and exit our downloads and run dolphin now of course you do need the Mario Kart Wii WBFS file but I'm sure you already have that if you have Dolphin set up. And if you don't have Dolphin set up, I have a great video on my channel on how to do it. And now we're gonna right click on Mario Kart Wii and hit start with revolution patches, press on open revolution XML, and now we need to locate that XML file I mentioned earlier. So go ahead and find it. Mine is on my hard drive, Dolphin mods, revolution, and midnight2.0.xml. Just select that file and press open. Make sure under pack is enabled. And if you have a My Stuff folder set up, you can enable it by pressing from pack, but I'm not gonna do that. And you also have the option to save this as a preset. So let's do that. Call it Mario Kart Midnight 2. And as you can see, there's Mario Kart Midnight 2. It has the same picture, but you don't have to load the revolution patch every time that way. But all you have to do is press start and it will load Mario Kart Midnight 2. And again, as I mentioned in the intro, if you want to play online on Dolphin, you do need to have your NAND imported. This can be from your Wii U or your Wii. But if you want a video on how to do that, check the description and I'll have one out. But let's try some online. There's settings here that you can change, including fast menus and custom track layout. I'm going to be putting it to alphabetical because, well, it's a little bit more organized looking for them. There's 200 tracks. Now we can hop into a worldwide. But there you go guys, that is how you play Mario Kart Midnight 2 on every method, including playing online for Dolphin. If this video helped you out, please make sure to hit that like button, it really helps me out. And if you want to play online with me, I do stream, so make sure to subscribe and keep an eye out when I go live. I hope you have fun playing Mario Kart Midnight 2, and I'll see you on the next video. Stay funky and happy modding. <laughs>